Coffin-Syra syndrome, or CSS for short, is a rare genetic disorder that affects neurologic development and causes certain physical changes. CSS occurs due to changes in genes associated with chromatin remodeling complexes, which are groups of proteins that regulate how chromatin works. Chromatin can be thought of as the storage system for all the instructions which are written in the DNA that the body needs to function properly. Not all parts of the DNA are needed at the same time, so if a cell needs to grow or repair itself, chromatin unravels the right part of the DNA to make sure the right instructions are available when needed. There are several genetic changes associated with the development of CSS, most commonly affecting the ARID1B gene. These genetic changes usually occur by chance and are not inherited from the parents, though in rare cases they can be passed down in families. All right, now early in life, children with CSS may experience failure to thrive as well as frequent infections. In addition, infants typically have hypotonia, or low muscle tone, which can contribute to feeding difficulties and a delay in reaching motor milestones such as sitting and walking. Children may also have intellectual disabilities or learning difficulties, with severity ranging from mild to severe. There may also be hyperactivity, attention deficits, and traits resembling autism spectrum disorder, like repetitive behaviors or nonverbal communication. Physically, children with CSS tend to have characteristic facial features, such as a wide and broad nose, full lips, and a small jaw. They also typically have sparse hair, thick eyebrows, and long eyelashes, as well as excess hair growth in unusual places, such as the back. Another common feature is underdeveloped or missing fingers or nails, especially on the pinky fingers or toes. Some individuals may also have congenital anomalies such as heart defects, kidney malformations, or gastrointestinal issues, such as diaphragmatic hernias. Diagnosis of CSS involves a combination of clinical evaluations and genetic testing to confirm the disorder. First, a healthcare professional will assess the individual's physical features and developmental history. If CSS is suspected, Genetic testing may be recommended to detect changes in genes that are known to cause CSS. Once a diagnosis is made, the family may meet with a genetic counselor to discuss the likelihood of the condition occurring in other family members and what care is needed moving forward. While there is no specific cure for Coffin-Syra syndrome, treatment can help manage the symptoms and support the individual's overall development. Early intervention is crucial to help children with CSS reach their full potential. For example, speech therapy can assist with language development and communication, while occupational and physical therapy can help improve motor skills, balance, and strength. Behavioral changes such as hyperactivity or attention difficulties can be managed through behavioral therapy, counseling, and medications if needed. Infants with feeding difficulties may require special feeding techniques or even temporary feeding tubes to ensure adequate nutrition. Additionally, some children may need specific treatments or surgeries for congenital issues, like heart or kidney problems. Even though prognosis of CSS varies widely based on the severity of clinical manifestations, most individuals can live well into adulthood with proper care. Alright, as a quick recap. Coffin-Syra syndrome is a rare genetic disorder characterized by distinctive facial features, underdeveloped or missing fingernails or toenails, and delays in speech, motor skills, and learning. Diagnosis can be confirmed with genetic testing, and treatment focuses on managing symptoms and early intervention therapies to support overall development. Helping current and future clinicians focus, learn, retain, and thrive. Learn more.